Does hair mousse help extend the waves using Dyson Airwrap? I'm excited, I'm intrigued. Let's try it out, one to one. Left side, we're going to apply mousse in our damp hair, and the right side is just strictly my hair with shampoo and conditioner. Nothing else added. Let's begin. I'm gonna begin by adding mousse to each section of hair, two to three pumps, and then just run it through my hair. And now I'm just brushing it through. And this is just gonna help make sure the mousse is distributed. And then on this side, I'm just gonna use a different brush. I'm using the newer 0.8 inch barrel with my original Dyson. And Andre is going to count the time. So each section is the same amount or similar enough. It's tight. Both sides are done. I'm gonna let them relax for at least five to 10 minutes before I either use like a white tooth comb or just my fingers to create more of, more of a softer look hairstyle. But I was telling Andre that the side with the mousse has a little bit more definition. Just the curls are a little bit more defined. Both bouncy. So the mousse side, not crunchy. It does have a little bit more texture and definition just because of the mousse, but it's not crunchy. That's the best part. <laughs> yeah, it feels like there's a little bit of texture in here. It's not as smooth, but I can still run my fingers through my hair. Get that, volume. get that volume. <laughs> it's going to chill out. I'm just trying to kind of soften it a little bit. Yeah, this side is a little bit more smooth. Doesn't have as much texture and grit in my hair. Softer feeling. Yeah, they look very similar. The purpose of this video, does hair mousse really extend the wear time, the curls, the waves for the Dyson Air Wrap? That's what we're going to find out. Let's go on with our day. Four hours later, this is what we're looking like. I kind of actually want to comb it out using a white tooth comb. I don't know. I just feel like it's not looking as cohesive as I would want it to look, but we're looking still pretty good. Not pretty good, really good. Honestly, as of right now, I don't really see much of a difference. I think the only difference, it's more of a feel. You can even kind of hear it. A little more texture in the hair. I mean, it seems like with no mousse, it's a little longer, so it's losing a little bit of definition, but with mousse, it still has a little bit more volume and a lot more definition, as you can see. Wow, okay. But both sides, they look phenomenal. That 0.8 inch, you guys, it gives you so much definition, so much curl, body, but the mousse side is looking really good. So good. Nine hours later, this is what we look like. So nine hours when I first did my hair. Not nine hours since the first update. Let's see what we look like. Bam, just trying to see. Ooh, okay. Longer, shorter. We're just gonna gently brush it out just to kind of, so it doesn't look all ratty. <laughs> I was playing with the kids. 
tag and I was sweating so you can see a lot of the hair lost quite a bit of definition closer to my body <laughs> yeah the side with the mousse like I'll keep saying that it has texture it's not as smooth and silky and soft it's bouncy it's still shiny but it's just to the feel it's not silky and soft okay this is what we look like honestly <laughs> both sides look great there's still a little bit more definition with the mousse there's a little bit more um, bend and wave on the no <laughs> mousse side or just no hair products in general there's it's just a little bit softer it still looks beautiful. Honestly, if I were to ask anybody if there was a difference, they might say there's a little bit more definition on the mousse side, but all in all, it looks great. So again, if you have a hard time getting a wave, a curl from the Dyson Airwrap, either with the 1.2 inch or the 1.6 inch, that means it's too big for you. Personally, I like my hair looks great with the 1.2 inch i like that it's very more of like a very loose wave it has a little bit of a bend in there has a little bit of body but i can never get my hair styled like this with the 1.2 inch just because there's not a, there's not enough of the hair to wrap around the barrel as much as the 0.8 inch allows for my hair to wrap around so the mousse side looks phenomenal and the no mousse side looks phenomenal on both sides, you can see it lost quite a bit of definition closest to my body and kind of like my neck right here. But again, I was sweating. It was a little bit humid today, but all in all, I am pretty impressed with both sides. <laughs> pretty impressed that this side without any hair product looks incredible and it's holding on its own. But the one with the mousse, it does have a little bit more hold and a little bit more definition at the end of the night. So nine hours later, this is what we're looking like and I'm I'm happy. It is the next morning. We're getting ready to go to the gym, but I want to show you guys my hair. When we woke up, Andre goes, wow, babe, your hair still looks good on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be your hair. Uh, look at this. I'm gonna brush it out, comb it out. Moose side. Nothing side. They're both pretty similar. I think the nothing side, it's now somewhat even to the mousse side, but the mousse side has a little bit more definition, I think. What do we think? Nothing like extreme. Andrew's saying nothing extreme. Nothing like, I would be like, whoa. I mean, I'm gonna do mousse from trying to see even like both sides. I feel like they're pretty even. They're pretty even. Even towards the bottom. If anything, there's a little bit maybe more bend towards the bottom on the moose side. I don't know, guys. I know. Whatever this little experiment helps you with to see maybe the bigger picture, the bigger idea. I think if anything, you want more of that definition, use moose with the 0.8 inch barrel not the 1.2 or the 1.6 the one point the point 0.8 inch the smaller barrel too so that we will have something in your hair and you say how long you held it you held it each section for one minute I yes that might be the biggest action each section for one minute and then i did a 10 second shot with the cool shot so hold it longer than you think um, use a timer, count it in your head, but hold it longer than you think to get best results. If you're doing like 20 sections, it's gonna take you a little over like 22 minutes to do your entire head of hair. It's not bad, I guess it just depends on what you're looking for from your Dyson Airwrap, but I also never really use a Dyson Airwrap barrels if my roots are damp or wet. I always dry my roots before I do like the wave barrel with the Dyson Airwrap to get the best results and for my hair to last as long as possible, pretty much. All right, this concludes the video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hair after the gym. I was cold, um, I had my hair up in a high ponytail and then a high bun. It was great. Andrew said, 
holding the hair on the barrel longer than you think is the secret. Yeah. You hold it for, you know, 30 seconds, you can get half the life. Not good enough. <laughs> yeah, I usually hold it between like 30 to 45 seconds, but we're like, no, 